Are you looking for meal options for you and your family? Consider Rico Subs and Pizza on Route 1 in North Attleboro, open since 1971 and a proud sponsor of high school sports in the Attleboro area. Rico's cooks up many flavors of pizzas, subs, and calzones, all in store and using fresh ingredients. They're open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sundays 12 noon to 10 p.m. You can also order ahead by calling 508-695-1296. Plaudino's Auto Repair, located at 310 South Main Street in Attleboro, is celebrating 30 years in the auto and truck repair business. Over the years, John Claudino and his team of mechanics have worked to build a long-lasting rapport with their customers, from oil changes to diagnostics, transmissions, and routine maintenance on foreign and domestic cars and trucks. Claudino's will keep your vehicle running. Claudino's Auto Repair, 508-226-8545 or at claudinosautorepair.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to this special WARA 1320 AM sports presentation. Tonight, it's boys high school basketball as the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers host the Bridgewater Raynham Trojans. Attleboro coming in with a record of two wins and one loss overall. Bridgewater Raynham, one uh, win and two losses. That win came last night in a thrilling double overtime victory against uh, Whitman Hansen with a three-pointer at the buzzer uh, for the 75-73 victory. I'm Paul Healy along with Kevin Callahan. Kevin, should be a good one. Uh, should be a great game tonight, Paul. And yeah, and a, a great win for Bridgewater Raynham facing a potential 0-3 start to start the season. Uh, battle all game long, grab the, the double overtime win over Whitman Hanser. Whit- Whitman Hanson, uh, to start to the say. season, exactly, <laughs> start the season one and two. Whitman Hanson, clearly no pushover as they beat Mansfield a few years ago for the in state the D2 title. state yeah. title game. So, should be a great game. Bridgewater Raynham coming in with five players averaging double figures in points. And wow. we'll get to that a little bit later on, yeah. I'm sure. But uh, should be a, a great game and uh, very comparable teams as we found, like, um, very young uh, yep. juniors and sophomores, paramount to both teams. Yeah, Attleboro with uh, just one senior on the varsity roster, right? And I have uh, one. Yes, one one, one senior in, in, in tonight's game. And, yes. and uh, Bridgewater Raynham uh, with only two seniors on their roster. Attleboro lost the majority of its scoring and production from last year's squad. Hayden Crowley is the only returning starter. Uh, but so far, uh, his young teammates have stepped up to get Attleboro off to a 2-1 start. Unfortunately, junior captain Brady Urban will not be playing tonight. He's uh, overcoming an injury, should be back shortly. But Dante Monestein is... Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, Brady Urban, a high ankle sprain. Okay. Uh, Dante Monestein, the 6'3", junior, is in the, off- is in the starting lineup. He's averaging 10.3 points. A game and 5.7 rebounds. Connor Houle, who played a lot as a freshman last year, starting this year at point guard, averaging 14 points a game. He had a career-high 13 in the last uh, win of last season against Taunton in the playoffs. He also was averaging 3.5 assists and 4.7 rebounds. And we learned that when he was a freshman. He's only 5'8". Sneaky good rebounder. A sneaky good rebounder, real good uh, a fundamental player. Yeah. Uh, works for a shot, is driving to the hole a lot better, and is working himself down low. Uh, a good player. And, you know, you mentioned you know, young team, not much, you know, varsity experience. The JV team from last year yeah. that we talked about, I think you said went 20, 20 and, and one. 1. So they got a lot of minutes yeah. <laughs> on the floor, which is now translating into this early season, 2-1, and, and they're learning um, – 
while well, they learned against Stoughton, a 20-point lead is not uh, guaranteed exactly right. to last, and they did hold on to beat Stoughton at the end. <laughs> Hayden Crowley, uh, Connor Hull's cousin, Hayden Crowley, the 6'2 junior, he's a junior captain along with Monestein. He's averaging 6.7 points and three rebounds a game. The deadliest long distance shooter, one of Hawksports.com's 10 players to watch this year in the Hockamock League. Emmett Hill, a 6'3 junior, is playing forward. He's averaging six points and three and a half rebounds. Ladanian Rodriguez, or LD, as Coach Hool calls him, 6'2 sophomore. 16.7 points a game, 12.3 rebounds, more than three steals a game, and one block a game. Other than that, he hasn't yeah. done much. And uh, LD is a player uh, I know, you know, living in Attebro, is someone I started hearing about in sixth grade. And now as a sophomore, he is a starter, as you mentioned, yeah. averaging 16.7 points a game. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see quite a few minutes, I'm yeah. sure. He came up uh, to uh, play some varsity minutes late in his freshman year, but he was one of the drivers of that 20-1 JV team last year. By the way, the year before, they went 18-2. So yeah, so some good young talent, yep. and word on the street is their 8th and 7th grade team coming through. Atterborough's poised right now, uh, the young this year. Word on the street? Word on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I got my moles out there throughout the... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in the middle school program like yeah. I used to be. My kids have now graduated, So, uh, but there's some good young talent yep. out there, and Atterborough High is poised to be uh, good, not only now, but in the years, a few years to come. If you were a fan of last year's team, you remember Jaden Outland, who was an outstanding player in that team, his younger brother Isaiah is a six-foot sophomore forward who's seen quality minutes off the bench. Out of world coached by Mark Hool. He's had that job since 1995. They won the state title with Mark Hool coaching in 1998. In 1997, Taunton won the D1 state title. And their coach, Bridgewater Raynham's coach, was on that team. Oh, no kidding. Yes, Doug <laughs> Alves in his 10th year at Bridgewater Raynham. Again, won a state title at Taunton High, played collegiately at High Point College in North uh, Carolina. And tonight he's looking for his team to put four quarters together. They've had some strong quarters. They've had some down quarters. He thinks if he can put four good quarters tonight, they can compete with his Bombardier team. Yeah, and they're going to be led by, you know, a couple of juniors, Noah Perry Lewis, averaging 17 points a game and four assists a game. And Deshaun Falk, another junior, 14 points, nine rebounds. But look out for uh, Kaysen Falk, sophomore, averaging a double-double, 11 points, 10 rebounds, and for the heck of it, three steals a game. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> also in the starting lineup, Bobby Lewis with 11 points and three assists a game. And Cameron Santos, a sophomore forward, averaging 11 points and seven rebounds. Also look out coming off the bench for Jack Hannigan, who was a transfer from BC High. He's a random kid, decided he wanted to come home and play with his friends. It's a, it's a great opportunity to play in front of your friends and your hometown fans. Let's bring the TV side into the broadcast. Good evening and welcome to Double ACS 15 Sports. Tonight is boys high school basketball as the two and one Attleboro Blue Bombardiers host the one and two Bridgewater Raynham Trojans. And here's the starting lineup for the Trojans. Sophomore number three, Kaysen Falk, as Kevin told you, 11 points, 10 rebounds, and three steals a game. Sophomore forward, Cam Santos, averaging 11 points and seven rebounds. Guard, sophomore number 10, Bobby Lewis. Bobby Lewis, wearing number 10, averaging 11 points a game, three assists, all five starters in double Junior figures. Falk. Junior captain, Deshaun Falk, 15 points, nine rebounds guard, a game. Junior number one, Noah. And number one, wearing the right jersey number, Noah Perry Lewis, 17 points and four assists a game. Doug Alves is their head coach. Had a great talk with him before the game. A special ed and social studies teacher. And I'd like to thank Coach Alves for the information he provided us yes. <laughs> before the game on his one and two of Bridgewater Random uh, Trojans. We ask all the coaches for stats and notes. Very few comply, he does. Yes. For the Blue Bombardiers, Connor Hool. Third Hool brother to start under their dad, Mark Hool, the head coach. Connor averaging 14 points, 3.3 assists, and 4.7 sneaky rebounds a game. Ladadian Rodriguez, the 6'2 sophomore, LD, averaging 16.7 points and 12.3 rebounds. 
Emmett Hill, the 6'3 junior, averaging six points and three and a half rebounds. Part of that 20 and one JV team last year. Junior captain wearing number five, Hayden Crowley, averaging 6.7 points and three rebounds, the only returning starter from last year's squad. Junior captain, Dante Modestein, 10 and points a game, 5.7 rebounds. Kevin, should be a good one. Should be great, and get used to those names from the starting lineup, because I think we're gonna hear a lot of them with a few substitutions. We'll be right back after this on Double ACS 15 Sports. Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991. They provide mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. Crystal Glass, 110 North Main Street in Attleboro, has supported local high school sports for many years. Bristol Glass has been chosen for glass replacement projects for home and business for over 60 years. From shower doors to auto glass and mirror replacement, Bristol Glass is ready to do the job. They accept most insurance plans and serve several communities around the Attleboro area. They're open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can contact them at 508-222-5810 and on the web at bristolglass.com. Welcome back to Double ACS 15 Sports and 1320 WARA Radio. I'm Paul Healy along with Kevin Callahan who's pinch hitting for Ryan Dolinger. Ryan did a great job for us as our football color commentator but right now he's flying home to Northern Virginia to spend Christmas with the family. Want to say hello to Ryan. Text in if you like Ryan and also Ryan's loving mother Lynn. All right Peter Bray is on camera. Jim Jones our engineer in charge pinch hitting tonight on graphics as well. Kevin Bridgewater Raynham. 4 and 16 last year, but they're off to a good start this year and they love to press. Well, they're 1 and 2, they're averaging 65.7 points uh, per game. They're going to press, they're going to put pressure on, they're going to try and cause turnovers. Atterborough is going to have to respond to that, and uh, Atterborough averaging uh, 56 points a game are uh, going to have to uh, work very hard to break that press. Our officials with a jump ball there is the referee, Jack Brichta from Sharon High School back in the day. They win the opening toss, driving to the hoop. Left-handed runner, no good by Santos. Attleboro gets possession, that's a team rebound. The other official right now with the ball is Joe Hillier. Joe Hillier played his high school sports for the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins. Played baseball for the University of New England, also a basketball player in high school. To your point, Paul, Bridgewater at Random comes out in the press right away to start the game. Attleboro breaks it. Left corner, Hayden Crowley is open. Off the back rim. Up for the offensive rebound, LaDainian Thompson, but his, excuse me, Rodriguez, his shot is blocked by Cam Santos. Nope, that was a foul. That foul is on number four, Deshaun Falk. His first, team first. And again, new rules this year, NFHS rules. Four eight-minute quarters. Five fouls in one quarter sends a team to the line for two shots if they're on offense. No more one and one situation, which is fantastic. That rule stunk out loud. First foul shot is good for Ladanian Rodriguez, or as Coach Hool calls him, LD. LD, great player. He's been coaching him since third grade, Kevin, and in third grade, he Mark had trouble with Ladanian rolling off the tongue during a game when he's trying to give instructions. He asked his mother if he could call him LD, and he got permission. Perfect, and that's a lot easier to say. <laughs> Two to nothing, Hatterborough leads. We're just barely 30 seconds into the first quarter. Up top, there's number three, Kaysen Falk. Taking the jump shot, Noah Perry Lewis. Again, averaging 17 points a game. Shot is no good. Connor who with the rebound. He averages 4.7 a game, and he's only 5'8". We saw it last year. He sneaks in between the trees, comes up with a ton of rebounds. What a drive by 
LD from the left. He's got all four Bombardier points. 4-0 early lead, and Atterborough showing that they can break the Trojan press right away. Jump shot. Finds the bottom of the net. That's Bobby Lewis averaging 11 points a game. 4-2, Bombardiers heading right to left in their white uniforms, royal blue numbers and letters. Bridgewater Raynham, red uniforms, white numbers and letters with blue trim, the Trojans. Looking very much like a North Atterborough team out there with their red uniforms. Yep. There's a jump shot, rolls in and out. Defensive rebound coming up the court is Noah Perry Lewis, the point guard. That's going to be a travel on Falk. First turnover of the game. Turnovers are one thing the Bombardiers have to cut down. They had a, a ton of them on, on the road. Yeah, and, it, uh, yeah, and it allowed, they had big leads, and they allowed uh, teams like Stoughton uh, to come back into that game when they were up by 18. They ended up winning, I believe, it was by seven. Yeah, I believe it was 12 turnovers at one point. They won by five, 63 to 58. Connor Hool, oh, his floater, ooh, is blocked, but on the follow through, Cam Santos did hit Connor's hand. Cam was going to complain about that, then realized, yep, I got him. That's two blocks that have been wiped out of the scorebook for Santos due to fouls. And who was that foul on? 35. So that's his first? His oh, first. Okay. His first, okay. Team, Team second. second. Connor Hool at the line. By the way, Connor Hool, it's only three games into the season. He's hitting 57% of his three-point field goals. Hits the first. And 72.7% .7 from the free throw line. And that percentage just went up. Hits them both. And again, success from the free throw line was huge in their win over Stoughton. It'll be interesting to see how Bridgewater Raynham responds. They had a double overtime thrilling victory last night over Whitman Hanson. Yeah, last night. Great save by Deshaun Falk, a junior captain to keep it in bounds. Trojans have the ball with 21 seconds in the shot clock, trailing 6-2. 94-foot gym here in the sparkling brand new Attleboro High School. That's Bobby Lewis up top to Deshaun. Again. Kaysen Falk is a sophomore, Deshaun the junior. I think we'll go with the first names, Kevin. <laughs> Deshaun stutters, drives, blocks shot, but he gets it back and puts it in on the offensive rebound. Give a block shot to Emmett Hill. Fat lot of good it did him. <laughs> <laughs> and then Emmett Hill will take the three from the corner off the front rim with the rebound and hustling the other way is Perry Lewis. Drives against Hayden Crowley. Nice defense by Monestein. Poole with a second rebound ahead to Rodriguez. The runner is no good, but he's fouled. And, and they're calling an offensive, offensive foul. foul. As, okay. Oh, it was an elbow right to the face of the Bridgewater Raynham defender. Unintentional, but the fans are complaining, but I think he got that right. Yeah, fans are complaining because he was in the act of shooting. Yep. Uh, that's why. So that's uh, Ladanian Rodriguez's first. Team first. And uh, Ladanian not complaining, but again, his left elbow came up and caught the defender right in the teeth. At the high post, the ball is knocked away by Katie Rodriguez. Crowley. Oh, Rodriguez. Yeah, and Crowley ended up with the ball. Second Trojan turnover. Connor Hool drives. 15-foot floater is good for Connor Hool. 8-4, Bombardiers. Poole and Rodriguez, the two sophomores, with four points each early in the first quarter. Drive, kick out, long ball by Santos. Rattles in and out. Defensive rebound, Rodriguez. Boy, he looks stronger than last year. Driving to the hoop, putting it in. Goaltending. Good leaping ability by Deshaun. Uh, the assist goes to Monestein. No, and, Mon and give that basket, sorry, to number... Actually... Who was that? Who got that? Monestein? I think the hoop got Monestein and lost yeah. the assist. That's what, yeah, that's what confused me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So Monestein, and there's a timeout on the floor. I believe that is a Bridgewater with their first timeout. Yes, it is. Bridgewater Raynham takes the timeout with 4.37 to go in the first quarter. Attleboro 10, Bridgewater Raynham Trojans 4. We'll be right back. W.H. Riley is here when it comes to heating your home or business this winter. 
W.H. Riley & Son always welcomes new customers. They're a family-run business serving the Attleboro area since 1873. They offer heating oil and propane with 24-hour emergency service. For more information, you can contact them at 508-699-4651 or their website, whriley.com. W.H. Riley & Son, 35 Chestnut Street, North Attleboro, a company greater Attleboro residents have called on since 1873. Welcome back. Bridgewater Raynham is coached by Doug Alves, played his high school basketball at Taunton, where he was a t on the uh, Taunton State Championship team in 1997. Played his college ball at High Point in North Carolina. And then the next year, 1998, Attleboro won the state title with Attleboro coach Mark Houle on the bench. So we have floor, uh, on the floor foul against number th 30, uh, Daniel Rodriguez. That's so his, his second. His second and checking in, number 10, Isaiah Outland. So that was, his, yep. his second team second. Sorry, Paul. Outland, sophomore, six foot forward, younger brother of Jaden Outland, who was a great uh, player for the last two years for the Bombardiers. Lewis driving on the right. Back up top to Perry Lewis. Stops. Oh, nice defense. Connor Hull. Yeah. Tipped the ball, Perry Lewis recovered it and then landed. That's up and down or traveling. I agree. I think it was a good aggressive defense. I don't think Connor touched him, but he acted like he got touched. And a very aggressive man-to-man -man defense by Atterborough in the early going. The five foot eight inch Connor Hool has three rebounds and a blocked shot. <laughs> and we're not even halfway through the first quarter. And four points. <laughs> yeah, on this 94 foot court. Outland to Monestein up top. Holds the ball like a tailback, drives. The shot is no good because of the defense of number 21, Hannigan. Turnover. Fourth turnover. Steal by Emmett Hill. Hannigan is in. He's a transfer from BC High. Hayden Crowley with a three-pointer from the corner. 13-4, Bombardiers. Hayden coming off his season high, 13 points against Stoughton. Finds the touch there for his first three of the game. Apologies, I missed the assist because we're trying to keep track of too much stuff. Drive to the hoop. Nice aggressive drive by Kaysen Falk. Forces his way through two Bombardiers. It's in the cup, 13-6. Should be mentioned that all five Trojans on the floor right now averaging double figures on the Whoops. season. Whoops. Sorry, no, eight. Uh, Emmett Hill just had a collision with oh. uh, Kaysen, sorry. <laughs> Emmett Hill in the corner, drives. And that's going to be a charge on foul. Hill. Second offensive foul on the Bombardiers. Those are the only two turnovers. For Emmett, that's his first. That's the team third. Again, five fouls per quarter. Yep. We'll send the team to the line for two. Yeah, Perry Lewis averages 17. Kaysen Falk averages 11. Deshaun averages 15. Bobby Lewis averages 11. Cameron Santos averages 11 points as well. But Jake, Jack Hannigan's in right now. He's from Raynham. Transferred back to BR from BC High. Kaysen Falk with a 17-footer for a two-pointer. It's 13-8 Bombardiers. And for uh, Falk, that's, he has four points so far. There's that full court press. Now they try to trap. Monestein reads it well, gets to Crowley over the timeline. Ooh, chippy foul call. But it was a foul against number three, Kaysen Falk, his first team third. And number four, Deshaun Falk checking back in for number 35, Cameron Santos. And checking in for Atterborough, number three, Logan Gosselin. 5'11", senior. Checking out Emmett Hill and his one foul and three points. No, Hayden, no, no, no points, sorry. Hayden Crowley, the 6'2", sophomore, only returning starter. Bombardiers lost seven players to graduation or transfer. Monestein. Ball rolls over to, whoops. Hayden Crowley with the hoop, the assist, Goslin. Love that catch and shoot, Paul. And Hayden Crowley did that perfectly at the top of the key. Six, now has six. 16-8. A beautiful drive again and a left-handed finish by the sophomore, Kaysen Falk. He's got four, he's going to the line. Again, sorry folks, missed the assist. If you're watching this in the AACS YouTube channel and enjoying the broadcast, please hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. How come Kevin doesn't get to talk more? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Misses the follow-up foul shot. 
Here come the Bombardiers right to left. Monestein, the 6'3 junior captain. And they trap him up top. Some movement, boys in white. Conahul guarded by Lewis. Right side, that's Outland. Back up top to Hool. Left side, Monestein drives to the left, stops. Nice defense by Hannigan. Good patience by Atterborough. Outland is open on the right arc. Three ball won't fall. Tough defensive rebound pulled down by Deshaun. And a reaching foul by Goslin. For Goslin, that's his first plus team fifth. So Bridgewater Reno will be shooting two for the final minute 37 of the first quarter. Emmett Hill set to check back in. And getting ready to come in for the Trojans, David Inazil, a senior guard. At the line is Deshaun Falk. Hits the first foul shot. He's got five tonight, averaging 15 points and nine rebounds a game. And number 33 for Bridgewater Random, Lee Williams, sophomore, checking in. Lean and tall. Very, yes. <laughs> the Attleboro student section barking, and the second <laughs> shot is no good. One for three from the line for the Trojans. They trail Attleboro by five. One and a half to go in the first quarter. Connor Hool against Inazil. Hill. Left side, Crowley, a three-pointer from Sharon is good for the Bombardiers, 19-11. Crowley's hit his last three in a row after missing his first two. He has nine. Hill has not scored, but he's got a block, a steal, and there the assist. And I love how relaxed Doug Alves, the BR coach, is. True teacher. Nice pass down low. Short jumper. Just misses by Inazil. Defensive rebound, Crowley. Emmett Hill on the left, he'll slow it up. Up top to Connor Hool. Connor Hool drives. Outland on the right side for a three. Outland with a swish! 22-11, Bombardiers. It's the fourth three of the quarter for Atterborough. Spinning is Lewis, short jumper. They don't mind the mid-range game. Nice hoop, 22-13. Four for Lewis. Full court press. They get it into Connor. Connor Hool. Inazil is on him. Connor Hool breaks the timeline. 16 seconds to go in the half. Oh! One of those ticky tack fouls that'll drive a coach crazy for uh, Inazil, his first team fourth. Well, Connor Hool does it, and who is the great player at uh, Franklin, the four year starter? Edge Hill. Edge Hill, you come anywhere near them, they throw their head back like they've been shot. <laughs> I made Kevin say something good about Mr. Edge Hill. First time ever. <laughs> but it's, uh, that's okay. <laughs> Long shot is no good. Nice defensive rebound. Bobby Lewis, his two bombardiers went down. Layup at the buzzer won't fall for Hannigan. And there was Connor Hool. On that drive, picked up his fourth floor burn of the year <laughs> to lead the team. Leads the team. Uh, Brady Irwin is second, but he's missed a few games yes. with injury. <laughs> After eight minutes of play, it's Attleboro 22. Trojans 13. Kevin. Good start, good fast pace uh, for Attleboro. Keep running and see if you can get uh, Bridgewater random tires, especially after the double overtime game yesterday. We'll be right back. Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991. They provide mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. We're back, waiting for the second quarter to begin. Kevin, our numbers add up. No way. Yes. <laughs> Fort Bridgewater Raynham, Kaysen Falk has four. His older brother, the junior captain, Deshaun, has five. Bobby Lewis with four. For the Bombardiers, two for Monestein. Four points, a block and a helper from Connor Hool. Three three-pointers for nine points for Hayden Crowley. He also had two assists. Emmett Hill, a block, a steal, and an assist. Four points and a steal for LaDainian Rodriguez, and a long three for Jaden Outland. 
Logan first, yep. uh, sorry, uh, first quarter, Attleboro shooting 54%, 7 of 13 from the floor. Bridgewater Rainham 43%, 6 of 14. And we'll see if that the, follows on four. Yes, it is. On number four, Deshaun Falk, his second team first of the second quarter. Trying to get at the ball from behind. Got the ball, but I guess got some arm, too. First team foul of the second quarter, but Kevin said that. Sorry. Noah Perry Lewis checking back in, and there's a turnover for Atterborough. Third turnover. Nice steal on the inbounds pass by Kaysen Falk. But... Getting it back for the Bombardiers, Monestein for the fifth. Trojan turnover, catch, shoot, Halen Crowley off the front rim. Offensive rebound, Connor Hull, his fourth rebound. Monestein drives on the left, right-hander misses. Rodriguez's follow-up is no good. Defensive rebound, Hannigan. Oh, beautiful Euro step, but better defense by Rodriguez. And there's the sixth Trojan turnover. And we'll give Monestein credit for, I mean, Rodriguez credit for causing that steal. He had a running gun game here to start the second half, uh, second quarter. Atterborough slowing it down right now. Which gives the color commentator less time to talk. Sorry, Kevin. No, that's perfect. <laughs> nice defense by Jack Hannigan. Shot right. ends Cameron Santos. Sorry for Bridgewater Raynham. Attleboro with 17 left in the shot clock. I asked. Coach Alves, who have been the pleasant surprises for him, who's given him more than he expected on day one of tryouts. He listed Cameron Santos, and right there, the aforementioned Jack Hannigan, and we can already see why. Connor Hull from the left corner. Three ball is good. Assist Rodriguez. Connor has seven now early in the second quarter. 25-13, Bombardiers driving. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Ooh. This is why I would be the worst referee in basketball. I get every possession call wrong. In practice <laughs> as a coach, uh, in games as a commentator, every single one wrong. I thought for sure that was Bridgewater rain and ball. <laughs> Fresh 35 second yep. clock for Atterborough as they take over. 25 to, up 25 to 13. Again, because of the Atterborough bench, we can't see a floor level. I think that ball must have gone off Fox foot. And Connor Hull checked out. I didn't see who checked in for him. Was it Emma Hill? Was he been in? In the right side, that's number three. Goslin's back. Crowley down low. He misses, but he's fouled by Kaysan Fox. So the Fox brothers both have two fouls. Second team foul of the quarter against BR. Boy, a fast paced game. Very fast. Again, our referee up top, that's Jack Brichter from Sharon, Massachusetts. Funny. Jeff Rose is sending along funny messages. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you for watching and or listening. <laughs> I knew what I was doing to him, Jeff. <laughs> I made Kevin say something he didn't want to say. But Jack Richter, the uh, referee up top, played baseball at Sharon, and uh, he's a broadcaster as well. Did Crowley hit them both? Hit them both for his 10th and 11th point of the game. 6.25 to go in the first half. Crowley with 11. Bob the Deers lead by 14, and they're 6 for 6 from the line. Long three ball from the lefty. Perry Lewis is good, and it's 27 16 from way downtown. How are you 0 for 3 shooting? and you take one from so far away and swish it. I mean, all the credit in the world to uh, uh, Noah Perry Lewis yeah. for hitting that swish, but to have the confidence to do that's incredible. I never had that confidence. No. <laughs> Lewis with the assist, long ball by Rodriguez, no good. Hannigan, who's a leaper, gets the rebound. Here comes Perry Lewis, back to Hannigan on a classic give and go, and he lays it in, and Mark Poole wants a timeout. That was good basketball by the Trojans. Yeah, Bridgewater ran them on the match, the intensity of Atterborough here in the second quarter, still trailing by nine with 5.43 to go in the second quarter. Does your back hurt after a long night's sleep? Ow. Has your mattress seen better days? Is your current bedroom furniture a mixture of different furniture sets? The Bedding Center, located on Pleasant Street and proud sponsor of this radio station and high school sports, offers a wide array of mattresses along with beds, bedroom furniture, and odd-sized mattresses and box springs. You can reach them online at bedding-center.com or by phone at 508-226-8090. Welcome back to Double ACS 15 Sports and 1320 WARA Radio. Paul Healy along with Kevin Callahan. Attleboro cheerleaders who won another state title in the fall. 
clearing the court. Peter Bray is on camera. Jim Jones, the engineer in charge, and pinch hitting for Emily Eby tonight on graphics. That's right, she works on uh, another, uh, another job on Friday night, yes. Emily. So uh, thank you, Jim, for pinch hitting. Fun game to watch tonight, really fast paced. By the way, we mentioned our referee is Jack Richter. The umpire is Joe Hellier. Plays high school sports for the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins. Collegiately at University of New England. Full court press into Connor Hool, the 5'8", sophomore. Against Noah Perry Lewis. Full court press does take a lot out of you, Paul. And with uh, Whitman, uh, Bridgewater Random playing uh, the double overtime game last night, you wonder if that will tire out Bridgewater Random as this game goes on. I asked the coach about that. We both agreed. Come the on. Kids. They're 16, 17, and 18, and they still have all their cartilage. Yeah, I'm just trying to bring up some talking points. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> no, BR beat Whitman Hansen in a 75 73 thriller last night. Cutter Hu with a Brian Sissio like. Mid-range jumpers, 29-18. Nine for Hull here in the second quarter. Perry Lewis guarded by Monestein, gets a pick. They switch, players are down. Long jumper by the lefty is no good. Fighting for the offensive rebound. Oh, travel. they call a trial. Travel trial. against Cameron Santos. <laughs> and I think Trojan fans are wondering if he was knocked down. Have to watch that one, on the, watch that one back in the replay. <laughs> Eighth tr uh, Trojan turnover. So Attleboro only three so far, and they had a bunch in their victory over Stoughton. Oh, look, Attleboro uses the give and go, and Connor Hull banks it in off the assist from Goslin. He now has 11 here in the first half, uh, tying Hayden Crowley. The give and go, the best play in any court or field related sport. It just looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> Hannigan at the right uh, elbow might have been hit. Knocked out of bounds by the Bombardiers. Trojans maintain possession with 17 in the shot clock. I'm looking down at the BR bench. Uh, some calls have gone against the Trojans and not a speck of frustration on the face of Doug Alves. No, he's uh, very, very cool, calm, and collected. Yep. <laughs> and that usually translates to the players on the court. Yeah, some of them are asleep on the bench. With the all right, all right. Kidding. <laughs> Strong teams. Whoa. Noah Perry Ooh. Lewis is fouled on the three pointer. Nice hip check in midair by <laughs> Connor Hull. That's his first team first, but uh, Noah Perry Lewis will now be at the line for three. Yep. As Hayden Crowley looks to check back in. I, I would like Doug Alves to talk to uh, Joe Mazzula and the Boston Celtics and try to explain to them that strong teams overcome tough calls, <laughs> bad teams or weak teams whine about them. <laughs> I'm a Celtics fan all my life, but gosh, they make it tough to root for them the way they treat the officials. <laughs> Noah Perry Lewis hits the first. It's 31 19, 407 to go, first half. <laughs> and Coach Al is taking advantage of the uh, three shots to call each individual team member over to have an uh, impromptu timeout without using a timeout. As Crowley now checks in, we'll see who checks out for Atterborough, and it's going to be number 30. Well, Danian Rodriguez with four points, checking out with his two personal fouls. Second shot good by Perry Lewis. Lewis now has five, looking to pick up his sixth point of the half. Rolls that in with a nice shooter's touch. Three in a row, 10 point Attleboro lead. Four for six from the line for Bridgewater Raynham. Connor Hool against Lewis. Hesitates and bursts across the timeline, then slows it down again. Good ball movement away from the ball. Attleboro with a good motion offense going That's right a now. That's travel. Fourth Attleboro turnover. Looked like Connor was thinking about shooting the three, then changed his mind. And just that little indecision caused the, caused the travel there. What, just a fifth turnover? Yep, for fourth. Fourth. Eight for Bridgewater Raynham. Should we call them BR or BR? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lewis, he'll take the three for the left arc. No good. Connor Hull almost gets his fifth rebound, but the ball matriculates over to Goslin, and he comes up court. Knocked out of his hands, credit the steal to Bobby Lewis, and there's the fifth Attleboro turnover. Kevin, you're a seer, you're a visionary. <laughs> I just love how you work uh, the word matriculate at least once in every broadcast. I'm that. not sure how you do it, but uh, I know it. and I think you do it right. <laughs> I do it in honor of Hank Stram, <laughs> head coach of the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. 
old coach. <laughs> yeah. Matriculate the ball down the field, Lenny. Matriculate the ball. Drive for the left is no good. Offensive rebound, putback is no good by Drew Simmons. It was a great up fake by Lewis uh, to get Connor uh, cool off his feet and then drive. Is that a foul? And Isaiah Outland going to check in. I don't. Oh, ball was knocked out of bounds. Yeah, out okay. of bounds. So two offensive rebounds there. I missed. Simmons got one. Not sure who got the other. Attleboro knocked it out. And getting a hand on the ball is Goslin. And now it's Attleboro ball. As they say that's off Bridgewater Rain. Yes, Goslin knocked the ball away. Perry Lewis controlled it, but his right foot was on the line. That's the ninth turnover. And give Goslin credit for the steal. He's got two helpers and a steal. Ooh, full court press there. Uh, struggling is Connor Holby. Gets it over the timeline. And the way Connor. And there's a, a travel. travel. Interesting. On Hayden Crowley. You know, just when I said what a fast paced game it has been, now it's suddenly slowing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Six turnovers for Attleboro, nine for the Trojans. Perry Lewis drives left, throws it up, trying to draw the foul, can't get it. Defensive rebound. That's five rebounds for Connor Hull. Driving and laying it in is Goslin. His first two of the game, and Attleboro now leaves 33 to 21. Two and a half to go in the second quarter. Lewis drives, spins in the lane. Crowley gets his hand on that ball for the steal. Connor Hull at half court. Turn my crowd mic up a little <laughs> bit there. That was Mark. Oh, Connor Hull. They had all four players on the baseline. Hull up top got a step, throws in the 17 foot floater. How many does Connor have? 13 in the first half for uh, Connor Hull. Overtaking cousin Crowley, on, uh, who has 11. Driving, Hannigan tries to punch it up for the offensive rebound. No good defensive rebound by Outland. We're gonna travel, the full court press causes a travel against Connor. Connor pleading his case, saying that he uh, used his pivot foot, and I believe the referee said he changed pivot foots. Foots, feet. <laughs> Inbounds to Santos. Santos right side, this is Lee Williams, number 33. Long ball is good by Perry Lewis. It's 35-24. For Perry Lewis, he has nine all this quarter. Keeping the Trojans within 11. He's hit two three-pointers and he was fouled on to Connor. Just when the double team came to Connor Hull, he released the pass to a wide open modest time. The old if you double team, somebody's open. Yep. <laughs> and he found him. Hayden Crowley up top almost loses the behind the back dribble, which would have caused my father to yell. <laughs> 10 on the shot clock. Connor Hull up top against Hannigan. Kicks it out to Crowley. Fakes the three. Moves. Fires. No good. Offensive foul against Isaiah Outland. Or player control foul, excuse me. For Outland, that's his second team second. Neither team in foul trouble. Adderall just two team fouls. Bridgewater ran him with uh, two team fouls as well. Uh, Thank you. Yes. That's the foul I missed. Thank you. Attleboro, Coach Hull said they might use a little bit of zone. They've been man-to-man -man all the way so far. Coach Hull's a huge man-to-man -man guy. Yeah. He very rarely goes away from it. Lewis guarded up top by uh, Goslin. Drives Lewis now in the right corner. Goslin still with him. Great but aggressive man-to-man -man defense. Travel. Causes the travel. Bobadiers have forced 11 turnovers. You know, the student sections everywhere chant, you can't do that. I wish they'd say something like, take it, use it, take it, <laughs> use it. You know, cheer your own team. Yeah, no, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. But, no, <laughs> but I love the spirit of the Attleboro student section. They're all in their Christmas costumes With today. Santa hats on. Yeah. Poole is up top, 17 on the shot clock, 19 in the game clock. Nice defense by Perry Lewis. No five second really? uh, count on, I'm surprised. Poole drives to the right, up top to Crowley. Takes a long three ball and hits it. An NBA three plus 
38-24. Lewis with a buzzer beater. Won't go in. Great first half for the Bombardiers. They lead 38-24. Kevin, Trem thoughts? Yeah, tremendous shooting. Crowley with his fourth three-pointer of, uh, of the half, giving him 14 points in the half. Connor Hull, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 13 for Connor Hull, leading the way, 27 of the 38 points for Atterborough. Bridgewater uh, Raynham with uh, Noah Perry Lewis with nine to lead the way for the Trojans in fast half. Yes, and to these eyes, there was only one possession all half where the Bombardiers were standing around. Other than that, they've had outstanding ball movement, moving the ball with passing. Uh, and again, with the exception of the dribbling by Connor Hull there, we have not seen over dribbling tonight, but Connor was trying to waste some clock there. Right. So that was part of the strategy. And for the uh, Bridgewater Raynham Trojans, uh, I think the future is bright. Young team, athletic team. They've had some things go against them, and they haven't let it get them down. They're still playing hard. And, th and this game's far from over. As oh, we yeah. heard, you know, uh, you know uh, Bridgewater Raynham hit a three at the buzzer to force overtime. They ended uh, last night. They forced a double overtime as well. Uh, they are not going to. They played Zavarian this year. Yeah. They played Westwood this year. Uh, now, now, now they're playing Attleboro. They have opened up with a very tough schedule. This game's going to go down to the wire. I feel. 38-24 at the half. We'll be right back on Double ACS 15 Sports and 1320 WAR. Hey. Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991. They provide mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. Crystal Glass, 110 North Main Street in Attleboro, has supported local high school sports for many years. Crystal Glass has been chosen for glass replacement projects for home and business for over 60 years. From shower doors to auto glass and mirror replacement, Crystal Glass is ready to do the job. They accept most insurance plans and serve several communities around the Attleboro area. They're open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can contact them at 508-222-5810 and on the web at bristolglass.com. Claudino's Auto Repair, located at 310 South Main Street in Attleboro, is celebrating 30 years in the auto and truck repair business. Over the years, John Claudino and his team of mechanics have worked to build a long-lasting rapport with their customers, from oil changes to diagnostics, transmissions, and routine maintenance on foreign and domestic cars and trucks. Claudino's will keep your vehicle running. Claudino's Auto Repair, 508-226-8545 or at claudinosautorepair.com. Falls AC, 8-Stack Road in North Attleboro, supports high school sports in our community at every level. Opened in the early 80s, owner Angelo Cavallari is proud of their 40 years of service to the Attleboros. Falls AC is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. They have lunch and dinner daily, banquet rooms for your meetings or get-togethers, and dart leagues. The entire staff at Falls AC wishes the high school athletes the best of luck in every game. Falls AC. 8 Stack Road, North Attleboro, 508-695-2688. Does your back hurt after a long night's sleep? Ow. Has your mattress seen better days? Is your current bedroom furniture a mixture of different furniture sets? The Bedding Center, located on Pleasant Street and proud sponsor of this radio station and high school sports, offers a wide array of mattresses along with beds, bedroom furniture, and odd-sized mattresses and box springs. You can reach them online at bedding-center.com or by phone at 508-226-8090.
W.H. Riley is here when it comes to heating your home or business this winter. W.H. Riley & Son always welcomes new customers. They're a family-run business serving the Attleboro area since 1873. They offer heating oil and propane with 24-hour emergency service. For more information, you can contact them at 508-699-4651 or their website, whriley.com. W.H. Riley & Son, 35 Chestnut Street, North Attleboro, a company greater Attleboro residents have called on since 1873. Welcome back to Double ACS 15 Sports. I'm Paul Healy along with Kevin. That's going to leave Omar Callahan, Peter Bray on camera, Jim Jones, the engineer in charge, also running our graphics. We're at halftime here, about five minutes away from the third quarter tip-off. 38-24 Attleboro. They had a Huge start in their victory against Stoughton. Allowed Stoughton to crawl back into that game. Attleboro shot 44% in their 63-58 win over Stoughton. Kevin, they look good tonight again. Yeah, they're off to a great shooting start in the first half. Attleboro shooting uh, 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 unofficially. <laughs> 13 of 24 for 54% wow. uh, from the floor. Bridgewater Raynham shooting 9 of 26 for 35%. Atterborough also six for six from the line, 50, 100%. Uh, uh, Bridgewater Random four for six from the line, and from three point land. Did I get that right or wrong? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, Atterborough three point land six of twelve for fifty percent from three point land. Wow. I got Bridgewater Random two for six for thirty three percent. So Atterborough shooting a shade better than Bridgewater Random in just about every statistical category leading to the 38 to 24 uh, halftime lead led by uh, Hayden Crowley 14 first half points and Connor Hool 13 first wow. half points and Hayden Crowley also has a couple of assists and a steal Connor Hool three assists a block shot five rebounds one of them on the offensive end can you tell he's a coach's kid <laughs> he's such a fundamentally sound player does the little things right and on Wednesday night we had a, a girls game Wednesday night that well, it was one of those games my big brother Mike would call a tractor pull. This has been a delightfully entertaining back and forth game to watch. Yeah, the, the, the shots are falling better uh, than the game that we did the other night. The turnovers are less, um, you know, for both teams yeah. than the other night. Uh, fast paced game. Uh, yeah, both girls teams, Vatterboro against Stowe, and just, uh, they just, in a way, couldn't get out of their own way yeah. on, on both teams. Uh, I know the Atterbrook girls will be working over yep. the next week and a half to uh, fix some of those uh, turnovers. <laughs> I do know they had a tough practice today <laughs> as well. Um, as and the Kevin, <laughs> his daughter's on the team. <laughs> and the uh, Atterbrook boys come out fine, but they're going to have to keep up the pressure. 12 point lead in this day and age of oh, three pointers please. is a three possession, uh, four possession game, and yeah. that's nothing with 16 minutes still to go in the game. Oh, thank you. Had the crowd too loud there during halftime. Ah. So oh, okay. Bridgewater Raynham is led by Noah Perry Lewis, who has nine points, uh, two threes, and is a perfect three for three from the line. And um, a big assist. And a big assist. <laughs> you got, uh, Casey Falk, who has uh, two. Uh, oh, no, no, he does. Four. He has six. He has six points. I got him for oh. six. I got Casey for four and Deshaun for five. And I got Deshaun for three. Okay, I'll go with you. Okay. All right, so four and five. At least the, the total nice. numbers add up, right? Uh, Bobby Lewis I have for four. Yep. Jack Hannigan, I have for two. Yes. Along with a couple offensive rebounds and some outstanding defense. And Lee Williams came off the bench. He's got an assist. Drew Simmons came off the bench. Two both sophomore forwards. And he's got an offensive rebound. Uh, but the full court press. Uh, Attleboro has uh, turned the ball over seven times. Bridgewater Raynham has turned it over 11 times. Historically, Attleboro's had trouble against the press in years past. Connor Hool, the 5'8 sophomore, could not look any more poised or effective against this press. Yeah, I remember uh, you know, when Bryant Sissio was playing a few years ago, yep. um, he was able to basically dribble out of the press and was yep. smart enough to you know, find the open man on the press. And you're seeing a lot of that with uh, Connor yep. Hull, uh, in years past, especially prior uh, to Bryant. They really struggled either having somebody that could dribble through the press and or find the open man and they really struggled against the press the last you know eight years or so they've gotten better yeah uh defending against the press with real good ball handlers yeah exactly right you're right Sissio uh connor is the most effective 
guard against the press since yeah. Brian Sissio, who was a thousand point scorer <laughs> yes. on that team with Colleen Charles, who yes. was a thousand point scorer. Exactly. <laughs> Very unselfish group back there in the uh, the 2020 class. Did I just say Charles? Charles. Colleen <laughs> Charles. Speaking of your kids, your son Tim was on that team. Tim was on that team. Who had um, seven assists in the first <laughs> half, including the assist on Colleen Charles' 1,000th point. And he had the assist on Sissio's 1,000th right. point. So Tim, not exactly a 1,000 point score. I was going to say Lots of assists, and he's very proud of his assists on the 1,000 points. He defended, he <laughs> rebounded, he passed. They let him shoot once, twice Whoops. every game. <laughs> man's in the words of the great Clint Eastwood, Kevin, man's got to know his limitations. He knew. <laughs> We're going to start the third quarter. Attleboro has a 38-24 lead. They have the ball moving left to right in their home white uniforms. Bridgewater Raynham in their red jerseys, white numbers, blue trim. Emmett Hill is up top. Crowley down low to Rodriguez. What a beautiful pass for the hoop. If it was ice hockey, they'd both get assists. <laughs> No secondary assists here in basketball. Rodriguez has six. Bombardier's up by 16. Same starting five for each team. It's Perry Lewis, the Falk brothers, Lewis and Santos. Driving shot is no good. Kept alive. Tipped by Falk. The Cason variety will give him an offensive rebound. And putting in a shot down low is Cam Santos, 40-26. For Santos, his first two points of the game. One of the five averaging in double figures for Bridgewater Random. He would have two blocks in this game, but both times he blocked a shot, there were fouls that took him away. Oh, hitting a mid-range Sissio-like jumper <laughs> and drawing the foul. A foul is Connor Hull. Missed the assist. And for Connor, that gives him now 15 points on the game. And the foul goes to number three, Cason Falk. His first, I'm sorry, his third yeah. team first. And another thing about Attleboro historically, um, it's early, just the fourth game. They've been a better foul shooting team this year uh, than in years past. That's hurt them sometimes in years past. Not tonight as Connor Hull scores the free throw for a natural three-point play. 43-26 Bombardiers. And there's a foul on the floor. I believe it's going to be against number three. Play, no, player control foul against Cameron Santos, the sophomore forward. Also number 35, so that's his second team second. I did not see what happened. There was some no, Paul, they gave it to number three. That's his fourth. Case and Falk. I thought I saw him put up number oh, okay. three at first. So it's not Cameron Santos. So it, Case and Falk now has four fouls. Wow. Team second. Okay. I saw the contact. And a three ball is drained by Crowley and a quick timeout call by Coach Alves. You didn't happen to see who passed that ball to Crowley. I, there were some kids in front of me. Exactly. For Crowley, he now has 17. And uh, I don't know if the Hools and the Crowleys get together at Christmas, but they're going to have a lot to talk about. Yeah. They have now combined for about 30 points between the two of them. 46 to 26, 646 to go in the quarter. Well, they're cousins. They grew yes. up across the street from each other. 32 points they've combined for, yeah. 17 and 15. <laughs> they've been battling it out in the driveway <laughs> since they were about four years old. We'll be right back after this on Double ACS 15 Sports. Oh, I forgot to turn our crowd mic up. Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991. They provide mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. Welcome back to ACS 15 Sports. See, they were far more polite. Those, they crouched down in front of us when they walked by. <laughs> and one even said hello to me. Or you yes. mean the, the non-hello. Yes. <laughs> I think he's a baseball player. I'm not 100% sure. Bridgewater Raynham will inbound, heading right to left, down 20 points suddenly. Attleboro's biggest lead of the game. Important for them to keep the foot on the gas pedal. They had a big lead like this against Stoughton. Santos from the right elbow, in, out, offensive rebound. Lewis drives, draws the foul and lays it in, which is just what the Trojans needed. Let's see who that foul was on. It was on number two, Connor Hull, his second. And that's team first. In the third quarter here. Bobby Lewis goes to the line, shooting one. 
Oh, it rolls off. And we do have a player down and a whistle. And we do have a push. And that's going to be on Deshaun Falk, his third foul. And team third with 6.32 wow. to go in the third. There's full the full court, court press. And there's going to be a foul oh, there four. on number one, Noah Perry Lewis. That'll be his first. But more importantly now, it's the team fourth. Attenborough will now be shooting, not now, but on the next foul against Bridgewater Random, Attenborough will be shooting two fouls the rest of the quarter. And they're gonna have Cool, uh, Connor Hool inbound. Rodriguez and Dante at the foul line. Attenborough heading left to right. Inbounds to Monestein. Trojans it, remain in the full court press. Here's the trap, which is what they want. Emmett Hill up top, right side, Crowley. Up top, Hool back to Monestein. He's gonna drive from the left arc. Right hand run, oh! A block shot, it looked like, by Deshaun Falk. And no. that's his fourth foul. That's his fourth and team fifth. So now Bridgewater Raynham in a lot of wow. trouble. With Case and Falk and Deshaun Falk both with four fouls early in the second half. 6-16 to go in the third quarter. Atterborough looking to go back up by 20. Monestein rattles home the first. For Monestein, that's his third point, looking to pick up his fourth. Attleboro was, well, I hate to say this out loud, seven for seven from the line. And there's no wood up here to knock Actually, on. Actually, eight for eight now, I think. Nine for nine, it was six for six and a half. Yeah. And they've hit three this oh, good uh, quarter. Every once in a while, Paul, every once in well. a while. 48-28. <laughs> Jack Hannigan checked in for Bridgewater Random. And there's gonna be a foul, I think, on Monestein. Monestein. Yeah. No, 35. No, no, no. Zero, yeah, Monestein. Oh, okay, he put up a three and a five. Yeah, because you, you got confused. <laughs> yeah, it, okay. it was Santos, 35, who was fouled. Okay. <laughs> and the next break, the Bridgewater Raynham Trojans get in this game, will be the first break <laughs> the Bridgewater Raynham Trojans have gotten in this game. Mark's confused. Wow. Mark Coach will confused right now because I think he saw the three yeah. and the five. <laughs> no, uh, they got that well. right. Yeah. Oh, That's give it go on the inbounds by Hannigan and a, a beautiful pass. pass. Cutting to the hoop was number 11. Luke Terrell and a beautiful block shot. Was that Emmett Hill? I think it was Hill that came flying across. Wow. I'm not 100% sure. Luke Gosselin checking in for Atterborough right now. Checking out is Connor Hull. So Luke Terrell, a freshman. We saw him play some in the, J in the JV game, which Attleboro won, by the way, 60-47. Santos, a long three. Swish. And for Santos, he now has five all this quarter. 48. 31, full court press. Monestein. Across the timeline. Ball is tipped. There's the first turnover the second half. That caused by Santos. Driving, spinning, Travel. Lewis traveled, yep. And that's their first turnover of the half. 12th of the game. Yeah, Monestein had used a fake on that pass. He would have been able to complete that pass. He kind of telegraphed it. As Big Brother Mike used to say, Kevin, oh, you can't that's a run travel. on the sideline. Uh, uh, yeah. You can only run on the side on the baseline after a made basket. Yeah. So that's so a I, travel. A travel against Atterboro and a turnover. Second turnover, the half ninth of the game. Um, anyway, Big Brother Mike used to say the most underutilized play in basketball is the ball fake. Yes, makes the whole defense hesitate. The length of the court. Emmett Hill lays it in. Is that a steal? Uh, yeah, just a poor uh, yeah. inbound pass. Emmett Hill with a steal and the hoop. 50-31. Down low. Yeah, no, Emmett got him on the arm. Terrell draws that foul. But anyway, you know, they talk about all the greatness of Larry Bird's game, especially if you live around here. Go home tonight, watch some YouTube. How often he used the ball thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and he could... He faked people out just by doing a ball yeah. out, ball down, ball in the side, yeah. and not even moving his feet. So. Jake Straminski for Attleboro, <laughs> who's an outstanding guard on the football team and forward on the basketball team. He utilized the ball fake more than any bombardier I've ever seen. Terrell hits his first foul shot. It's 50-32. Just a freshman again. Lane violation against Red. Wow. So is he officially one for one from the line or one for two? <laughs> no, he missed the shot. Yeah, but they called violation against Red. 
So even if it went in, it wouldn't have counted. Good point. So one for one? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Do you love how I ask and answer my own question? <laughs> Five for eight from the line for Bridgewater. Raynham, eight for eight for the uh, Bombiers. Rodriguez is double teamed. Hold on to the ball. Travels. Travel. So three quick turnovers for Attleboro. Mark trying to settle him down. 5.07 to go in the third quarter. 18-point lead, Bombardier lead, and it doesn't feel like it. No. <laughs> and a huge non-foul for Bridgewater Raynham as Attleboro will be shooting the rest of the quarter. Terrell in the right corner. The freshman. Yep. Ball was tipped and goes out of bounds. Trojans maintain possession. 23 in the shot clock. 4.55 in the game clock here in the third. Inbound to Santos on the right wing. Dribbles away from the hoop, guarded by Hill. Whoops, loses the ball, but he's bailed out by Bobby Lewis. Back to uh, Santos, who'll take the three. Off the back rim, defensive rebound, Rodriguez. Ladanian up top, oh, what a pass to Emmett Hill, misses the runner. Defensive rebound, Santos, here comes Lewis. On the line, two-pointer is no good. Tipped by Emmett Hill. And that's a foul on White three. So that's Logan Gossel in his second team fourth. Checking in is Isaiah Outland. Checking out is Emmett Hill. Once Bridgewater Raynham inbounds the ball, they'll be shooting the rest of the quarter as Atterborough now has four team fouls themselves. And again up top to Santos, guarded by Outland. Drives left. Double dribble, because yes, when he got the ball, he gave a quick dribble. Good call there by the ref. Second turnover of the half, 13th of the game for the Trojans. That was a very subtle double dribble. Yeah. It was a good pickup by the ref. Ladanian, LD Rodriguez, averaging 16 points, 12 and a half rebounds, one block, and 3.3 steals a game. Hasn't had to do a lot tonight. No. The shooting at Crowley and Hull so far. Monestein cross court pass, Outland catch, shoot. The three ball is good. Attleboro by 21. Outland now has six on uh, two for four uh, shooting, from two for three shooting for three point land. Oh, what a drive by Perry Lewis and soaring in from behind the block by Ladanian Rodriguez. But they got a foul on Logan Gosselin, so his third team bonus now shooting two will be Noah Perry Lewis who has so, nine so the block from up top by Rodriguez was outstanding but sliding in at court level was Gosling I think Ladanian must have heard us haven't done much tonight eh <laughs> all right I'll show you pal I'll show you <laughs> 10 points now for Noah Perry Lewis as he hits the first perfect four for four from the line lefty point guard Oh, five for five. And a quick substitution as Emmett Hill checked back in for Logan Gosselin for Atterboro. You know, if I uh, start a team, an AAU team, Healy's Hellions, uh, Noah Perry Lewis can play for me anytime he wants. Oh, absolutely. No, he <laughs> plays a smooth game. will shoot from anywhere. Block shot by Santos, but it goes to Monestein who lays it in. The Trojans can't buy a break, they're down 21. So that's an offensive rebound, right? Yes. Good Turn. spin move. Oh, beautiful spin move by Lewis, I apologize. I missed the assist. But nice mid-range jumpers, 55-36 Bombardiers. Eight for Lewis, four this quarter. Tomlinson back to Crowley, guarded up top by Hannigan. Left side, Outland. Left wing, driving, missing the running layup was Monestein, defensive rebound Lewis. Great fast break to Santos. He lays it in, assists Lewis. I knew it, I know Coach Hull, I knew the timeout was coming. He cruised to that layup with not hardly any defensive pressure. 55-38, <laughs> Bombardier's lead. But it feels like the Trojans are still in this with 2.55 to go in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991. 
They provide Mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. Kevin and I are trained professionals. We know what that dead air means. We're back. <laughs> Peter Bray on camera. Jim Jones, our engineer in charge, pinch hitting on graphics. 55-38. If you're listening on radio, you're tuned in to 1320 WARA Attleboro. Might be listening online at WARARadio.com. If you like the broadcast, you might like my show, Mondays through Fridays, 9 a.m. till noon, pontificating with Paul and the proletariat. A radio talk show and a parody of saying, when it's good, it's very good. When it's bad, it's utter drivel, but at least it's never average. Connor Hool breaks the full court press, which he's done all night long. Connor Hool gets the return pass, misses the three, but is knocked over by Hannigan. But Hannigan, that's his first. We're in a team bonus now. And again, Hannigan, the shot was taken by Hool, and Hannigan was pivoting going to run up court to start a fast break and just accidentally ran into yeah. Connor. So was this a two shot or a three shot? I think shot? it's a three shot. See, I thought it was after the shot, but oh well. Well, we'll see who's right. <laughs> oh no, they the official um, oh, they Jack Brick put up three. Which given that to Connor Hool's almost a guarantee. That's Hannigan's first foul. Team sixth. Whoops, wrong place. What happened? Uh, he sank it again, and Connor has 18 on the game. Connor five for five from the line. Connor six for six from the line. 19 on the on the night. Six this quarter. Bombardiers are 12 for 12 from the foul line tonight. Perry Lewis guarded by Outland, driving Lewis, Let's getting steal. a hand on that for the steal was Monestein, one of the reasons he's a junior captain. And how important is it for everybody to be able to dribble on their way up the court? He was stuck, he looked to pass and no one to pass it to, dribbled up the court, and sorry, uh, Paul, a foul on uh, Cameron Santos, his second team bonus, so that's a two shot foul. Monestein goes to the line. Dante came in averaging 10.3 a game, 5.7 rebounds, 6'3 junior. Injured in the early portion of last season. Boy, did he come on in the second half of last year. And he looks 10 to 15 pounds stronger, and I mean muscle stronger. Hits the first foul shot. Checking in is David Inazo. Well, I hope I said that right. Checking out is Bobby Lewis. Wow. Okay, he hits the second one. They're 14 for 14 from the line. Attleboro boys, don't take this the wrong way. This is the first year the boys team's ever been a better foul shooting team than the girls. Yeah. Oh, what a block shot for Rodriguez, who averages one a game. That's his second of the quarter. So those numbers now go up a little bit. Yeah, he's, they list him as 6'2", but boy, he's got hops. Which means he's 5'11", because it's no. basketball. No, 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 no that's not true. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Inbounding, uh, that's number 12, David Inazil. Oh, good inbound pass. And great cut to the hoop by Cameron Santos. He's just a sophomore. Fall he, on Dante Monestein, his second. And we're at the team bonus. Yep. Shooting two now, is that Cameron Santos? Yep. He's got seven points this quarter. He's got eight points this quarter. I missed a two. I missed a two from him. Yep. He's got a two two field goals and a three point field goal, and now that foul shot. Okay. Wonder if I gave it to somebody else. We'll find out when we total our scores at the end of the quarter. Puts it in. Smooth foul shot. Score is 60 to 40. 205 to go, third quarter. And I got to be honest, Attleboro has done better against this Trojan press than I expected tonight. Yeah, no, they, they broke it well. There's no panic on them at all. Crawley from downtown. No good. Tipped by Outland. Coming away with the ball. Eventually. 
was the freshman, Terrell. Driving from the right side, the floater by Hannigan. Tipped out of bounds by Hannigan, who thinks Crowley touched it last. Simmons checking back in for the Trojans. Oh, checking out is Luke Terrell. I apologize for that. He was pointing out Inazil's defensive assignment. That was Crowley. That's oh. what he was pointing at. Sorry, <laughs> folks. I was going to say the Trojans have not complained once all night about anything. That would have been a first. Driving is Outland. What the heck happened there? <laughs> it was tipped from behind by Inazil. Outland got control of it back. And then number 34, Drew Simmons, slid to the right a little bit to get the blocking foul, trying to draw the charge. And for Simmons, that's his first team bonus. Minute 31 to go in a slower paced third quarter yeah. because of all the fouls. After we see uh, Isaiah Outland. I missed that. I was looking down. Did he get Free throw is good. 61 to 40. And boy, did his older brother give us some thrills here in this gym and the old one. And they missed. Out of our 9 for 10 this half. 15 for 16 on free throws for the game. 61 40. Oh, Perry just inside. Two. Just inside the three point line, Perry Lewis. 61 42. Amping up the intensity a bit on that press. This will be Rodriguez trying to bring it up. Nice crossover dribble. Against Inazil. Again, he was the driving force last year behind Attleboro's 20 and 1 JV team. Crowley fights well to keep control of the ball. Rodriguez, good ball movement, which you saw in the first half. And then almost, and then almost an errant pass. <laughs> Travel. Travel. Offensive foul. On number oh, three. Saying he threw that left elbow. On Gosselin. If that's on Gosselin, oh, no, it's on third. Yeah. Sorry, okay. And that's uh, Rod it's his third. And he's got three fouls, and two of them have been with that left elbow. Yeah. Offensive fouls. 61 42, 45 seconds to go, third quarter. Attleboro by 19. Williams back up top, left side Hannigan, speaking to people who could play for my team anytime. Perry Lewis, 15 on the shot clock, guarded by Rodriguez. Get low, Ladanian. Yeah, hit from behind. Over the back. For Montessan, that's his third team limit. I thought that was actually Connor backing into him, but I, I couldn't tell because yeah. he went up <laughs> as Connor was going back, so I wasn't sure who they were going to call the foul on. Well, the official indicated he might have hit him in the head with his arm, but I thought Connor forced him back into that contact. First shot is good by Hannigan. His third point of the night. Bridgewater Rainer missing just the one free throw this quarter. Oh, you know what? How many points do you have for Hannigan this quarter? Uh, this quarter, that's the first two okay, I have right. for him. He hits them both, 61-44. Four for the game for the Hannigan, two in the second quarter, two in the third. 15 on the third quarter clock. Monastein in the left arc, gets it to Connor Hool, 10 seconds to go. Connor looking to drive against Perry Lewis. Nice defense. Oh, Hayden Crowley! A three-pointer from Foxborough finds the bottom of the net at the buzzer, and the Bombardiers restore their 20-point lead. Oh, my stars. And for Crowley with those two threes this quarter, he now has 20 on the game. That's a season high. A season high was 13. One, two, three. And he's got six three-pointers. Yes. Incredible. 20-point lead for the Bombardiers. Eight minutes to go in regulation. We'll be right back on Double ACS 15 Sports and 1320 WAR. A nail the dramatic pause. Falls AC, Eight Stack Road in North Attleboro, supports high school sports in our community at every level. Opened in the early 80s, owner Angelo Cavallari is proud of their 40 years of service to the Attleboros. Falls AC is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. They have lunch and dinner daily, banquet rooms for your meetings or get-togethers, and dart leagues. The entire staff at Falls AC wishes the high school athletes the best of luck in every game. Falls AC. 8 Stack Road, North Attleboro, 
Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991. They provide mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. Welcome back to fourth quarter action. Bombardier's up 28 minutes to go, but the Falk brothers are back on the court. They combined to score right away. Who had that hoop? I don't know. I was looking down trying to add up my points. Sorry. I think that it was Deshaun, number four. All right, let's give it to uh, Deshaun. My numbers are off a little bit. I'm not quite sure why. Two, <laughs> what I did. <laughs> four, six, nine, one, two. There we go. Up top is Monestein, drives left, lays it up with the right hand, won't fall, defensive rebound. Santos takes the long two-point shot, tipped by Lewis, but it goes to Monestein. Atterboro has the ball back. And again, Bridgewater Raynham has to force up the shots quickly now. They got the move, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> very quickly uh, as they trail by 18 here. Kevin just reaching puberty as the voice has cracked a couple times Unbelievable. today. Unbelievable. <laughs> we don't have shooting stats, do we yet? I uh, do not. Yeah. Uh, trying to have some numbers, uh, but a high scoring third quarter. 26 for Atterborough and, and 21, I think, for uh, Bridgewater Random. From 20, no, 20. 20, 20. Thank you. Inbounds to Monestein. Back to Connor Hull. Takes the three off the front rim. Defensive rebound. Case and Falk. Long wow. three ball from way out by Noah Perry Lewis, and he hits. Kaysan Falk with a helper. He's got two this quarter. And a quick time out for Coach Hull. 64 49. We're going to keep it right here. Okay. <laughs> so for the Bombardiers, eight points, an assist, a steal, and an offensive rebound for Monestein. Connor Hull has 19 points. Four assists, a block shot, and at least, well, he had five rebounds in the first half. Hayden Crowley, 14, 20 points. He's got three helpers and a steal. Two points for Emmett Hill, but he's chipped in with two blocks, two steals, and an assist. LaDainian Rodriguez, six points, two blocks, two steals, and a helper. Two points for Goslin, along with two assists and a steal. Seven points for Isaiah Outland. Incredible free throw shooting too by Adama, only missing the one free throw uh, in the yeah. whole game. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. And so Noah Perry Lewis uh, for Bridgewater Raynham, nine, four, 16 points for him is yep. what I have him for him. That's yep. my <laughs> number value up to yours. Yep. He also has at least two assists. I've missed a couple assists for Bridgewater Raynham. Bridgewater Raynham within 15, it's, you know, five threes, and all teams are apt to, to throw them up from downtown. Yeah. So his game uh, not over by a long shot. You know, it's funny, Attleboro, again, they earn this 64 49 lead, but they can learn a little something from the Trojans, and that's how emotionally stable they are. 1 2 2 trap, full court zone. Connor Hull breaks it, but he's trapped in the corner. He moves that pivot foot. Coach Hould uh, disagrees with that. Thought his leg uh, was hit. But the, the right foot did drag, but yeah, to your point, if the leg was hit, that's why he thought <laughs> he traveled. And now Coach Hould sharing a laugh with Jeff Richter, <laughs> the other official. Fourth turnover for the Bombardiers this half, 11 for the game. Trojans have 15 in the game. Noah Lewis drives, block shot by Emmett Hill, his third of the night. Oh uh -oh. no! Oh, it's gonna be a foul. On Cameron Santos. That's a free ball. And for Cameron Santos, I believe that's his third, just the team first. In the fourth quarter. Dangerous Crop. pass, uh, out of yeah. a fortune to draw the foul there. They've handled the press all night long except for the last two possessions. And almost a steal by Lewis as it's tipped out as the Trojans 
They're starting to attack the passing lanes. Well, it, interesting coming out of the Stoughton victory was Atterbury had a big lead, but uh, I believe Coach Hull was quoted, we're a young team, we yeah. need to learn yeah. uh, how to put teams away when you have the big lead. Yeah. And uh, the same thing could be happening here at Bridgewater Raynham, very similar to Atterbury with a very junior and sophomore heavy team. Oh, backdoor cut by Crowley. Great pass wow. from Hull. Reverse layup is in for Hayden. He's got 22. What a play. Great control on the pass to do the reverse layup for his 22nd point of the night. 60, his first two. 66-49. Pass underneath from Kaysen Falk. I was, thought it got away from Bobby Lewis. I was wrong. It was tipped out of bounds. 24 remains on the shot clock. 545 in the game. Atterborough leads 66-49. Beautiful pass. Junior captain Deshaun to his brother, Kaysen, who spins and puts it in. 66-51. How many times have the brothers done that in the driveway? Double teamed, held ball. Jump ball, yes. <laughs> nice defense by Santos and Quezon Falk. It does remain Atterborough ball on the possession arrow. And the ball rolled through the open door <laughs> out of the gym. The sophomore, Cameron Santos, going <laughs> after it. There's Zach yes. from some of the unified sports teams tracking the ball down. Inbounding against the full court press. In the backcourt, breaking in the front court as Connor Hull drives. Draws the foul yeah. against Perry Lewis. Perry Lewis wants an offensive foul, but they're both moving. You he can't. didn't have his feet yeah. set, so that'll be for Lewis, Just uh, his second. second and team second. Nice try by Lewis. Great, smart play. But Connor Hull will go to the line. 13, he's got 19 points. He's five for five from the line tonight. Six for six, and I don't mean to curse him. I don't think he's hit the rim yet. No. <laughs> and him and uh, cousin Hayden Crowley going for bragging rights at Christmas dinner. Gets them both. He's Crowley with 22 and Hull with 21. Both season highs. Lewis drives, tries to draw contact. Offensive oh. foul. No. Yeah, it's an offensive, yes. foul. offensive foul. I'm saying no because that was a flop. That's Smart on. play by Hayden Crowley. Smart play yeah. by today's rules, but he didn't hit him hard enough to knock him down. Reminds me of the old Johnny Most call when they called Tiny Archibald for an offensive foul against Daryl Dawkins. <laughs> Tiny Archibald could knock down Daryl Dawkins if he got in his car. <laughs> Crowley from the right wing hits the three ball. Assist Rodriguez. Crowley now has 25 on the game. Long ball. Three ball won't fall for Deshaun. Defensive rebound, L. Rodriguez. Rodriguez, he's usually, oh, nice pass underneath. Emmett Hill puts it home. Two straight assists for Rodriguez. Four a night for, uh, for Hill. And it's usually Rodriguez, he's, his points are loud. He's had sneaky good plays tonight. Yep. Driving, kicking it out. Santos with a long three, short. Defensive rebound, Crowley. Breaking up court, Emmett Hill tries to tip the pass, gets to Rodriguez, back to Hill. Crowley thinks about the three, and you can see Coach Hull. Settle. <laughs> Take it down. Take it down. 20 on the shot clock, so they got time to set up their offense. 4.15 on the game clock. Attleboro turnover. by 22. There's their fifth turnover. Ooh, and a follow on Connor Hull. Kind of late whistle there. Thought he caused the turnover. But for Connor, that's his third, just the team first this quarter. I could be wrong. I think that steal was Deshaun Falk. And boy, did Bridgewater miss having the Falk brothers on the court due to foul trouble. Four fouls very early in the six, with about six minutes to go yeah. in the third quarter. Both, both brothers picked up their four fouls. Oh, what a drive. Lightning quick drive and lay in by Noah Perry Lewis. And out of North, and Attleboro calls another timeout. Perry Lewis has 13, 16, 18 points. Was Tiny Archibald lefty? I thought he was a righty. Okay, because boy, he looked like Tiny <laughs> on that. The way he exploded and went up to the rim. I know he wore number seven. Yeah. 73-53, Attleboro, 407 to go. We'll be right back. Emerald Auto Sales and Service has provided complete auto repair on all foreign and domestic vehicles since 1991.
They provide mass and Rhode Island vehicle inspections and inspections for Massachusetts commercial vehicles. Emerald Auto Sales and Service can diagnose and repair check engine light issues. They're open weekdays 8 to 5, Saturday 8 to 1. For more information, you can call 508-809-6553 or at their location on Route 1 North Attleboro, diagonally across from the Toyota dealership. I'd like to give a quick shout out uh, hi, uh, to Mark LaFontaine, who's oh. listening uh, right now to us on WARA. I'd like to thank uh, Steve Hull. He's watching us right now. Mark McMahon, Jeff Rosen, loyal listeners, loyal to the program. I'd like to say I brought them in, but I think they'd be watching and listening anyway. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Trojans remain in their full court press, but they have begun the game and remain. <laughs> yep. And until this third, uh, late in the third, early in the fourth, hadn't bothered Attleboro with it much. He's done better lately. Bombardiers break the press. Hayden Crowley for the right corner. Another three-pointer. That's his eighth three. And third assist of the quarter by LaDainian Rodriguez. Hayden has 28 points on the game. Perry Lewis drives and draws the foul. That's his fourth for Montezon, team second. And Connor's thinking, I got 21 and I'm, I'm, I don't get the extra dessert. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Waving hi to Brian Sissio. We spoke with him earlier oh, today. Oh, really? Of course, that ball did go in, and uh, both kind of missed it. <laughs> 54 points for now Bridgewater Raynham. And then Brian Sissio in that playoff game against Mansfield, the half-court heave at the end of the game. Both foul shots are good for Perry Lewis. He's got 13, 16, 18, 20. Yeah, just missed breaking it, my heart tonight. Missed it by that much. First, oh, that was crushing. First you bring up the player that yep. I did not want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> then you bring up the Mansfield playoff game. You're killing me. <laughs> cool double teamed. Gets rid of the ball to Crowley, his cousin. And now Attleboro slows it down. Under three and a half minutes to go. Bombardiers by 21. And these Trojans will not give up or back down. Crowley baseline drive. Kicks it out to Hill. Right side, Monestein. He drives to the right. Lays it up. Goaltending or foul? I think foul. They the foul. Yep. Okay. Oh, and Cameron Santos, that's going to be his fourth. His fourth team, fourth. Honestly, well, has eight himself on the game. Whoops. Monestein misses the foul shot, trade the bump. <laughs> Just the second miss of the night for Atterborough from the line. Hits the second. Checking in is Isaiah Outland. Satterborough Seven. came in. Sorry, Paul. They were averaging 56.3 points a game over their wow. first three games. Obliterated that average uh, so far with 77. And Bridgewater Rainman was averaging in the high 60s. Uh, so, uh, 65.7. Now Attleboro with a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Connor Hull nearly gets the steal. Driving is, oh, no, a Perry Lewis. Lays in another one, two, four, six, nine points this quarter. He's over 20 now, you said, yeah. right? 22 for the game? 22 for the game. And that's a foul, third foul by Noah Perry Lewis on the full court press. And team limit, so Attleboro will be shooting two now for the rest of the game for the final 246. Okay, you, uh, you, this is what, your third game, our third game this year uh, for basketball. What are your thoughts on the five I love fouls it. per quarter? You do like it. Uh, I haven't come to a conclusion yet, oh, no. and, I, and I haven't uh, asked the coaches yet. No, I think um, one and one is the dumbest rule in the history of sports. Why are you penalizing the offense if they miss the first foul shot? They had the ball. They got fouled. Why are you penalizing them? God, I hated that rule. Connor Hull hits his first foul shot. And when I become benevolent, Sar, we're getting rid of the foul out rule. Connor Hull hits the second. Connor Hull now 10 for 10 from the line as Logan Gosselin checks in for Isaiah Outland. 
Connor has 23 on the game. Can you imagine if soccer had a foul out rule? <laughs> uh oh, Lionel Messi has four fouls. He's going to play more careful now. <laughs> I like their system. Yellow card, red card for flagrant fouls. 1 2 2 zone. Bobby Lewis, long three ball, rims out. Offensive rebound, head again because he hustles every second. Puts it in with a Cowan's like hook from the right side. And I got six for Hannigan. And timeout, I believe, uh, Bridgewater? Yep. Bridgewater ran him. Um, but no, no other sport has a foul out rule. If you want to say after five fouls, that's a yellow card, or after five fouls, the opponents get an extra foul shot, fine. But I hate the foul out <laughs> rule. We'll be right back. W.H. Riley is here when it comes to heating your home or business this winter. W.H. Riley & Son always welcomes new customers. They're a family-run business serving the Attleboro area since 1873. They offer heating oil and propane with 24-hour emergency service. For more information, you can contact them at 508-699-4651 or their website, whriley.com. W.H. Riley & Son, 35 Chestnut Street, North Attleboro, a company greater Attleboro residents have called on since 1873. Welcome back to 1320 WARA Radio and AACS 15 Sports, the AACS YouTube channel. If you enjoy the broadcast, please hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel, even leave a comment. Positive comments are always accepted. Negative, please wait 24 hours. Yes, let it prove. They got it. Full court <laughs> press. Poole against Noah Perry Lewis. Long pass wow. to Hill and the, underneath the hoop. He had to turn and shoot her. Would have been three seconds. He gets the hoop. So Hill has six points now in the game. First time this year, Attenborough's going over 80. 81-59. Three ball from the left wing by Deshaun Falk. Apologies, I missed the assist. And again, they missed the Falk brothers due to foul trouble. Eight points for Deshaun Falk. Inbounds to Connor Rule ahead to Emmett Hill. Roll, oh, a running left-hander despite the defense of Hannigan. And Hill now has six points this quarter, eight on the game. Emmett always looked comfortable rebounding and defending. He looks so much more comfortable on offense this year. Oh, the lefty Noah Perra Lewis just misses. That's that's offensive. <laughs> no, travel. Travel. no foul travel there. Yeah. Was that travel on uh, LD? Yes. Okay. Six turnover of the half, 13th of the game for the Bombardiers. I only have the Trojans for four turnovers this half. So they cut down. They had, uh, 11 I think, 11. Yes, 11 first. in the first half. So great aggressiveness, especially coming off the off the game yesterday, playing two nights in a row. Tough start to their schedule. Yeah. It looks like they're going to uh, drop the one and three oh. against tough teams. Kaysan Falk with a beautiful drive and drop pass to Bobby Lewis for the hoop. It was Bobby Lewis who had that three-pointer at the buzzer for the double overtime win. Three assists this period for Kaysan Falk. I got, I got Lewis for 10 now, so double figures for him. Stolen away by Hannigan to Bobby Lewis. Turn, shoots, misses. Howley taps the rebound to Amonestein. Dribbles up court as we near one minute to play. Attleboro with a 19-point lead. That's an offensive foul as Noah Perry Lewis. Although if there was an arc under the hoop. That's five against Monasai. He would have been inside the arc. So he checks out, or fouls out, I yep. should say, with nine points. And that counts as a turnover. So 14 turnovers now for the Bombardiers. Hayden Crowley checking out. Looks like Logan Gosselin checked in. Isaiah Outland checked back in. Number four, Tyrone. Alusu Monsa <laughs> checking in. Number four, number 22, Jeremy O'Hara, sophomore. 6'3", six, six, sophomore, wearing Spencer Shirk's old number 22 jersey. That's right. I think Spencer Shirk drew something like 22 <laughs> offensive fouls last year. <laughs> Three ball from Mars <laughs> is no good by Noah Perry Lewis. And there's a foul on the floor to number one, Perry Lewis. I think 10. Oh, okay. Yes. Yep. Number 10. Isaiah Outlet. That's his third, team fourth. Inbound underneath, cutting to the hoop. Team fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, was Kaysan Falk. Number 22. 
with the foul. Jeremy O'Hara. That's who I gave it to. I don't know who they gave it to. Paul lifting the bench. And now the student section giving Ethan Viveros, the 6'1 junior, a big hand as he's getting ready to check in. They gave it to Tyrone, number four. Okay. I gave it <laughs> to number 22. Well, who you gave it to in the words of Bill Murray from the movie Meatballs, <laughs> it just doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Free throw is good by Kaysan Falk. We wish the Bridgewater Raynham Trojans all the best going forward. Again, they play a monster tough schedule. Junior Ethan Viveris checking in just now. Both foul shots are good. Eight points now for Kaysan. And Bridgewater Raynham hitting their average for points on the season. They came in averaging 65.7. Just got their 66 point of the game. And look at the difference. The they younger players against this full board, full court press, and it's a held ball as Averos was tied up. Attleboro leading by 17, 83 to 66, 46.5 seconds to go, but Bridgewater ran and playing hard to the end. No quit. Scrimmage against Stoughton and Bishop Hendrickson. Started the season against Severian and Westwood. Whitman, Hansen, layup underneath is missed, tipped out. Played Attleboro tonight, then they play Situate, Mansfield in their first league game against New Bedford. Things get a little sloppy here yeah. at the end. 83-66. <laughs> number four, Tyrone, his second team and limit. Coach Hull put the starters back in. Not happy with the sloppiness of, of the players on the floor right now. Yep. And who shot that? I'm sorry, number three. Lock. Case Falk. Case and Falk. Well, I mean, if Bridgewater Rayo, you know, the Coach Cool uh, point here, if, um, you know, they're putting the pressure on. Yep. If they cause the turnovers within a second or two yep. and, and getting fouled and going to the line where uh, Bridgewater Rayo has only missed one free throw, two free throws now this half. <laughs> and again, with point differential being so important, in uh, tournament tour seedings now, you can't afford to you let young kids make mistakes late. Well, in, 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 in with playoff seedings at the end of the year, in Coach Hull's mind, this is now a six-point game right now. Yeah. It's not a 16-point game, which I hate that rule so because now you have to put the starters back in when you want to develop. You want these young players turning the ball over, going up against the full-court press. That's how you learn. There is a one-second differential on the shot clock. And now the clock will run out. There nope. is point two. They will inbound the ball officially. So that's a, well, that's a turnover. Uh, they are making him uh, inbound the ball. Yeah. But no, 0 0.2 seconds. I but love do the, you agree with my point? Oh, yes. Okay. I love the new statewide tournament. Yep. They've got to put more emphasis on wins and losses. Absolutely. There should be an emphasis on strength of schedule, but not as much as they give it. I, and yeah. this point differential stuff, it prevents younger players from getting well, onto the court or field. I hate it. We, we, we just saw it. I mean, what better learning? And then they can have film on it. Then yep. they can work on it in practice. And that's how the younger players, the players that aren't getting the same amount of minutes, get better. They, Attleboro they was not going to lose this game, but they were possibly going to lose the double-digit lead. And again, a win is a win, a loss is a loss. I don't care if you win by one point or if right. you win by 473. It's they got to get rid of it. I wish our Bridgewater Raynham under coach Doug Alves the best going forward. For the Bombardiers, um, Monestein, nine points. What do you have for Connor? 23 points along with six assists, a blocked shot, and five rebounds in the first half. Hayden Crowley. 28 points, eight. Count them, eight three-pointers. Wow. Three assists, a steal. Emmett Hill had two, four, six, eight points, three blocks, two steals, and a helper. Ladanian Rodriguez, uh, only six points tonight. He's averaging 16.7. He had two steals. Four assists and two blocks. Glasslin with two points, two helpers and a steal. Outlet, seven points with two long balls. Yeah, uh, a great game. Noah Perry Lewis did everything he could <laughs> for Bridgewater Raynham yep. uh, to keep them in the game. Uh, a great, tremendous victory uh, for Atterborough. They do have a game next week on the road on the, on the holiday break. Uh, Bridgewater Raynham 
Uh, they're gonna have they're gonna finish with a strong season. They are a building, they are young, they are good. 22 points for Noah Perry Lewis, the left-handed point guard. Four, six, eight, nine points. Oodles of assists for the sophomore Chase on Fox. His brother, junior captain, had five, seven, ten points. And again, they both spent a lot of time on the bench with foul trouble. Bobby Lewis had 10 points. He was the hero last night against Whitman Hansen. Uh, at least two steals, at least three assists. Nine points for Cameron Santos. Luke Terrell got on the scorebook with a, a foul shot. Four points for Jack Hannigan, who did so much defensively and Actually, rebounded. I think Hannigan may have had six. Do you have hit yes, two he did. Okay. Yes, he did. You're right. I love and, when you say that. And uh, you know what? We could talk all night, but our crew wants to go no, home. It is Friday. Yes. It's been a long the, week. What was the final <laughs> score? Final score is 83 to 67 in favor of Attleboro. Attleboro improves to 3 1 on the year. An important 10 plus point victory, as we discussed ad yeah. nauseum at the end of the game. The Trojans, uh, Bridgewater, Raynham dropped to 1 and 3. But that record, they will not stay under 500 for long, no, in my opinion. Won't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm Paul Healy. He's Kevin Callahan. Peter Bray on camera, Jim Jones, our engineer in charge, and on graphics. My apologies to W.H. Riley, the betting center, Claudino's Auto, Bristol Glass, and Falls AC. I'm told I played the Emerald Auto commercial more than I should have, and the oh. others not as much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Go get them. Crystal Glass, 110 North Main Street in Attleboro, has supported local high school sports for many years. Bristol Glass has been chosen for glass replacement projects for home and business for over 60 years. From shower doors to auto glass and mirror replacement, Bristol Glass is ready to do the job. They accept most insurance plans and serve several communities around the Attleboro area. They're open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can contact them at 